Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Inya Music Nova Go Sonic. <laughs> weeks ago in your music reached out to me and wanted to know if I would be interested in trying out the Nova Go Sonic and make a video using it. At first I was a little skeptical. I didn't know if I really had a use for a guitar like this, but after looking at some of the specs, I was really intrigued and wanted to try it out. Now this is an all carbon fiber guitar. The body is chambered uh, carbon fiber. It's very light and comfortable and it's got a tunematic bridge and two humbuckers. They call this an Alnico 2 custom humbucker. This is an Alnico 5 custom humbucker. It's got an asymmetrical neck shape which is very comfortable and then of course you got your kind of go-to volume control uh, three-way selector switch for the pickups and there's a push pull which I believe is like a phase kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure. We'll kind of experiment with that later. But not only being just like a normal guitar, it's got some really, really cool innovative features built into it. Now on board, kind of hidden in the guitar is this 10 watt speaker and kind of amp system, which allows you to play anywhere without bringing extra gear. You can just bring this guitar and you get killer amp sounds wherever you are. And as well with that, you have a headphone jack so you can practice silently with the amp sounds. And then there's also a USB port, which allows you to connect to your computer and record direct guitar into your computer. So as well as being an awesome guitar, it's also got tons of killer innovative features that allow you to do much more than any other guitar will allow. All right, now I'm plugged right into my interface, literally just out of the quarter inch jack here right into my interface. And we're gonna go through some of the amp sounds and then we're gonna go through uh, the guitar, not none of the built-in amp sounds, but we're gonna plug it into my normal rig and hear how the guitar itself sounds. So to turn the amp on, we come right here, we just hold down this button. This is like a knob and a button. So you hold it down and then it will turn green. And now we have a nice clean sound. And all these sounds that we're hearing right now are literally from the guitar. I'm not using anything else. If you hear reverb, if you hear an amp sound, it's the guitar, not anything else. But uh, it also, so we can turn the volume up and down with that knob. It's kind of like the master volume of the amp section. And then we can click through and you'll notice if it comes across on camera that it changes colors. And these are the different presets that we can use that are built into the guitar. So here's the kind of clean sound. We can hear it's a very nice clean amp. There's some nice reverb on it. Moving on to the next preset, it's a little bit more bluesy, a little bit more distorted. So, Moving on to the next sound. This one's more, it's very dry, but more gain too. So it's probably a little bit more kind of 90s rock and roll. <laughs> Moving on to my favorite preset, which is like this um, purple-esque color. It's, a little bit more gain, more saturation, but it's got some delay on it, which is really awesome. We got delay built in. Uh, 
that's the direct kind of sound. What I'm gonna do right now is actually I'm gonna just unplug the guitar and we're gonna hear the speaker itself, what that sounds like. So here's the clean sound. All right, here is the next preset. Next preset. So that's what this guitar sounds like, just acoustic in the room. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the amp, we're gonna turn the amp section off and go right into my normal amp rig and hear what the guitar sounds like itself without the amp modeling, just the guitar being a normal guitar. So now I am plugged in, ready to go in my normal rig. So I'm going right out of the Novago Sonic, right into the front of my MGL 50 2204, out of that into the Sur reactive load for my speaker sounds. And there might be some reverb added on, but if it is, it's from uh, it's a plug-in in Logic, not some not a pedal or anything like that. So here's just the bridge pickup. <laughs> been a quick look at the Enya Music Nova Ghost Sonic. When it first came in, I was really intrigued to see what I would really like about it, if I would actually use it in my day-to-day -day kind of playing. And I actually have totally found myself playing this guitar, especially just grabbing a guitar, turning the amp on, and just kind of jamming, having fun. <laughs> If there's an idea that comes to me, I, you know, instead of going and turn on my amp, plug in my pedal board up and all that, being able to just grab this, get that idea out and hear it with, you know, if it's an idea that needs a clean amp, I can have that clean sound. If I need a distorted sound, I can have that distorted sound. It's actually, I've, I don't know, I'll go play in the backyard, just jamming or something. It's just, it's just being around the house, being able to pick up a guitar and get some ideas out. And then also it's just, it comes with a really, really nice gig bag that, if I'm just traveling on the road, I want to bring a guitar, but I don't want to bring my whole rig or something like some fancy expensive guitar that I'm worried about. Bring this, it's an all-in-one ready to go. If I need to practice, if I need to record some ideas, you can do that, no problem. So it's like, it's actually turned into like a really usable guitar for me that I use. So it's been very fun having this guitar and be able to play it whenever and wherever I want to play. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys back next time.